Good evening and a very warm welcome to the KDF Friday Bulletin. I am Sergeant Patience Asambu. The Bulletin is a show to keep you updated on events undertaken by the Ministry of Defence over the week. And in our highlights tonight... MV Uhuru to handover at Kenya Shipyard Limited in Kisumu. Commander Kenya Army visits South Africa for defense exhibition. Mastering the steps, the nine Kenya rifles dominate the 2nd Brigade Arms and Foot Drill competition. Namibia and Bangladesh Command and Staff College visit Kenya. And in sports, Wajir Air Base team rallies in peace tournament fostering community security. To start us off, Honorable Soipan Tuya, the Cabinet Secretary for Defense, alongside the Cabinet Secretary for Roads and Transport, Davis Churchill, officially handed over the MV Uhuru II to the Kenya Railways Corporation at the Kisumu Shipyard. This is a significant move to bolster regional and trade economic development. Built by the Kenya Shipyards Limited under the Ministry of Defense, the vessel is set to transport crude oil and other cargo across Lake Victoria, facilitating trade between Kenya and Uganda. In her remarks, Honorable Tui allowed Kenya Shipyard Limited efforts in establishing Kenya as an emerging shipbuilding hub in East Africa. Today, as we hand over MV Uhuru 2 to the Ministry of Transport, we are not just transferring a vessel, we are entrusting a legacy. A legacy that will facilitate trade, enhance connectivity, and contribute to the prosperity of our region. MV Uhuru 2 is expected to complement its predecessor, MV Uhuru 1, further advancing regional trade and creating employment opportunities. As we celebrate this milestone today, we acknowledge the collective effort of the government, the Kenya Railways, the Kenya Shipyard, Kenya Limited, and again, congratulations, uh, Major General uh, Farah, in bringing this project to fruition. We extend our heartfelt appreciation to Kenya Shipyard for this exemplary work in building MV Uhuru 2. The event was attended by key figures including Chief of the Defense Forces, General Charles Kahariri, the Principal Secretary for Defense, Dr. Patrick Mariru, the Principal Secretary for Transport, Mohamed Daga, Vice Chief of Defense Forces, General John Omenda, Kenya Shipyard Limited Managing Director, Major General Saeed Farah, and the Governor of Siaya County, Honorable James Orengo, among other senior government and military officials. Lieutenant General David Tarus, the Commander Kenya Army, is attending the 12th edition of the Africa Aerospace and Defense Exhibition 2024 at Air Force Base Waterloof in Swane, South Africa. While there, Lieutenant General Tarus has had occasion to pay courtesy calls on Her Excellency Jane Durumo, the Kenya High Commissioner to South Africa, General Rosani Mapwanya, the Chief of the South African National Defense Force, and Lieutenant General Lawrence Kulekani Mbatha, the Chief of the South African Army. They discussed matters of mutual interest as well as potential areas for cooperation and partnership on security. The event, which commenced on 18th September, features a three-day trade exhibition showcasing air, sea, and land defense technologies, including a static aircraft display, followed by two days of live air demonstrations featuring global aircraft. The Kenya Air Force reinforced its commitment to national security through the signing of the 2024-2025 performance contracts presided over by Commander Kenya Air Force Major General Fatma Ahmed at the CAF headquarters. The performance contracts serve as a strategic guideline to help Kenya Air Force meet its mandate of defending the nation's sovereignty and territorial integrity from external air threats. The initiative aligns with the Chief of Defense Forces, General Charles Kahariri's philosophy. Major General Ahmed urged formation commanders to use resources wisely within the set budget and to commit to continuous improvement, contributing to the Ministry of Defense sustained excellence. 
Major General Paul Oteno, Commander Kenya Navy, led the inaugural Kenya Navy Leadership Forum at the Kenya Navy Sports Complex. The landmark event is designed to promote leadership, strategic vision, and maritime security within the Kenya Navy. In his address, Major General Oteno emphasized the importance of the event in shaping the future of the Kenya Navy. He highlighted a renewed commitment to excellence, professionalism, and fostering deeper collaboration and strategic planning within the force. The forum aimed to provide a platform for dialogue, learning, and discussions among the Kenya Navy officers focusing on building a more agile and responsive force capable of protecting the Kenya's maritime sovereignty. Several presentations and panel discussions were held on critical aspects of naval operations and defense strategies. Topics included maritime readiness systems, modernizing Kenya's defense doctrines to address contemporary threats, capacity building opportunities within the Kenya Navy, and career progressions in the Kenya Defense Forces. Kenya and Italy have reaffirmed their military cooperation during a meeting between Major General Fred Lauria, the Assistant Chief of Defense Forces in charge of operations, planning, doctrine and training of Kenya, and Major General Alessandro Grassano, the Italian Deputy Chief of the Department for Strategic Direction and Military Cooperation. The meeting held at the Defence Headquarters in Nairobi aimed at strengthening inter-military cooperation and enhancing bilateral relations in areas of mutual military interest. Key areas of discussion included reinforcement of existing military ties, joint strategic partnerships and cooperation in peace and security operations. The talks also covered joint training, military exchanges and support for international peace initiatives. During the meeting, Major General Leuria emphasized Kenya's critical role in promoting stability in East Africa, reaffirming the long-standing partnership between Kenya and Italy as an enabler in this capability. The Italian delegation led by Major General Garzano included several senior officers from the Italian military. They later visited key institutions such as the National Defense College, the International Peace Support Training Center, and the Humanitarian Peace Support School. Moving on, the Cabinet Secretary for Defense, Honorable Sohipan Tuya, held discussions with a delegation from the United Nations led by Dr. Stephen Jackson, the UN Resident Coordinator in Kenya, during a courtesy visit at Defense Headquarters in Nairobi. The meeting focused on strengthening the existing mutual relations and enhancing collaboration in peacekeeping operations, maritime security and humanitarian support, among other key areas. <laughs> the nine Kenya rifles emerged victorious in the two brigade inter-battalions arms and foot drills competition. The highly competitive event held at three Kenya rifles battalion in Lanet, Nakuru, featured nine Kenya Rifles, five Kenya Rifles, and three Kenya Rifles battalions. The competition was aimed at showcasing the tactical prowess and coordination of KDF soldiers. Demonstrating superior drill techniques and synchronization, nine Kenya Rifles impressed the panel of judges. Clinching the first place, besides producing the best company, the best officer commanding, the best platoon commander, the best company sergeant major, and the best drum sergeant major. They were followed by five Kenya rifles in second place, who produced the best platoon, while three Kenya rifles were placed third and produced the best drum platoon performance. In his speech, the chief guest, Commander 2nd Brigade, Brigadier William Kamoiro, praised all participants for their commitment to excellence, highlighting the importance of such competition in honing soldier skills and fostering unit cohesion. We did this competition to be able to bring up uh, the, uh, all, the, the entire brigade together. Uh, it, is a, it is a test of our cohesion uh, as our brigade. Uh, to harmonize uh, drill uh, within the brigade. A brigade is a cohesive uh, formation 
uh, and to be able to bring soldiers together, you have to have uh, such competitions. The arms and food drill competition is part of Kenya Defense Forces' ongoing efforts to maintain combat readiness, instill discipline, and boost morale within its ranks. It serves as a key platform for promoting professionalism among soldiers and preparing them for the rigorous demands of military service. Commander Kenya Air Force Major General Fatuma Ahmed visited Moi Air Base Primary School where she was received by the headmistress, Mrs. Pauline Joroge, alongside other school staff and pupils. During her visit, Major General Ahmed toured the school to inspect various projects and ongoing infrastructure developments. In her address, the commander commended the headmistress for implementing initiatives aimed at improving the school's performance. Further, she encouraged the teachers to work together to ensure the delivery of quality education. She also advised the students to remain focused, work hard, and listen to both their teachers and parents. Mrs. Njoroge appreciated the commander's visit, stating that it's a great honor and that they are more motivated and committed to continuously improve the school's performance. Additionally, Major General Ahmed emphasized the important role military schools play in the personal development of students, blending academic education, discipline, and leadership training. I'd like to encourage all of you to remain focused, to always try to perform well in class, to always listen to your teachers, and then go back home. Also, you support your parents with household chores, so that when you progress in the school, you go to high school, to university, you're going to become very good citizens of our country. United States Africa Command hosted a symposium here in Nairobi to address the integration of gender perspectives in intelligence operations. The two-day event emphasized the significance of incorporating gender considerations, particularly in asymmetric warfare and peacekeeping efforts in East Africa. Discussions focused on the role of gender in intelligence, the importance of gender in regional peace initiatives and strategies for promoting gender inclusivity within operational frameworks. The symposium was moderated by Brigadier General Rose Keravo, Director of Intelligence at United States Africa Command. Representatives from nine countries including Kenya, Burundi, Botswana, Malawi, Somalia, Tanzania, Uganda, Zambia and the United States shared their experiences in women's role and community involvement in intelligence. The dialogue centered on enhancing gender representation and strengthening contributions within national security sectors. In her remarks, Brigadier Joy CTNA, the Director International Peace Support Training Center, underscored the critical importance of gender inclusivity in intelligence operations. She highlighted the valuable contributions women make to intelligence-led missions and called for a more robust integration of gender considerations in national and regional security strategies. Brigadier CTNA further challenged participants to prioritize competence over gender in assigning roles, ensuring the right person is chosen for the right job. Course participants from Bangladesh and Namibia Command and Staff Colleges paid a visit to Defence Headquarters on Monday and Tuesday respectively as part of the study tour. Both visits were aimed at offering insights into Kenya Defence Forces input into national, regional as well as global security. During the visits, the course participants were appraised on Kenya's perspective on national security and her response towards threats. The presentation touched on various areas of security, among them is Kenya's threefold security approach to regional and global security challenges. On both occasions, the Chief of Training, Brigadier Paul Koech, expressed his honor in hosting the delegations by highlighting the deep historical ties between Kenya and the respective countries. As part of their study tour, the Bangladesh Command and Staff College, Course 24 course participants, led by Group Captain Hassan Mahmoud, paid a courtesy call on Lieutenant General John Omenda, the Vice Chief of Defense Forces at the Defense Headquarters. Similarly, 
The Namibia Command and Staff College, led by the Commandant Brigadier General Elastas Nathinge, paid a courtesy call on Major General Frederick Leuria, the Assistant Chief of Defense Forces in charge of operations, plans, doctrine and training at the Defense Headquarters. During the session, Brigadier Paul Koech, the Chief of Training at Defense Headquarters, highlighted the long-standing relations between Kenya and Namibia, dating back to 1989, when the Kenya Defense Forces participated in peacekeeping missions in Namibia. Kenya, Namibia and Bangladesh have maintained cordial relations and cooperation militarily and in other spheres, including trade, tourism and technology. A delegation from the American Society for Industrial Security visited the defense headquarters in Nairobi to discuss strategies for addressing the evolving global security landscape. The American Society for Industrial Security, Kenya, has established a strong partnership with the Kenya Defense Forces, offering expertise, standards, and networks to tackle cybersecurity and physical security threats. The collaboration also extends to initiatives such as crime prevention through environmental design and enterprise security risk management, both of which have been tailored to meet the specific needs of the military. The meeting emphasized the importance of regular dialogue and knowledge sharing to enhance cooperation between them, fostering a unified approach to addressing multifaceted security challenges in Kenya, regionally and beyond. Major Aaron Zioka, the officer commanding 25 Mechanized Infantry Battalion, led the troops in humanitarian effort at Elwak, Mandera County. The initiative included providing medical aid particularly to elderly women and children with various medical needs. As part of the operation, the officer commanding engaged the key leaders from the El Golicha area where they discussed security issues affecting the region. He emphasized the importance of collaboration between the Kenya Defense Forces and Elwak residents to enhance security for the local population personnel and installations. Both the local leaders and residents expressed their gratitude for the ongoing KDF support and dedication to the community's welfare. Brigadier Bernard Correr, Commandant of the Defense Headquarters Camp Administration Unit, officially inaugurated the KDF Chaplaincy Interdenominational Induction Seminar at the Lieutenant Colonel S. Mwambire Christian Center Defense Headquarters in Nairobi. In his remarks, Brigadier Korir emphasized the significance of the seminar for the inductees, highlighting the importance of spiritual well-being within the KDF. The four-day seminar themed Serving with Purpose aims to enhance the inductees' skills on a wide range of topics, including the core roles of chaplaincy and catechism in the KDF, interfaith understanding and cooperation, as well as financial management. The Military Ordinariate of Kenya celebrated its annual Family Day in a vibrant ceremony at the St. Peter and Paul Catholic Church here at the Defence Headquarters in Nairobi. This year's event brought together families from Kenya Defence Forces military parishes across the country, showcasing a strong sense of unity and devotion. The Mass was led by retired Colonel Benjamin Maswili and co-celebrated by Apostolic Administrator Colonel Father John Jero alongside clergy from various KDF brigades, formations and units. The church choir uplifted the occasion with the songs while the Pontifical Missionary Children added to the celebration through dance creating a unique and lively atmosphere. In her address, Ambassador Dr. Monica Juma praised the efforts of the clergy and congregation in making the Family Day a success. She encouraged the faithful to continue living by the church's teachings to receive greater blessings from God. Allow me to thank the organizers of this beautiful occasion for ensuring a befitting Family Day, a success of today. I thank you all for taking your time to make this a prayerful and memorable happy day. Thank you and God bless you all. On to sports. The Wajia Airbase football team took part in the Wajia Peace Tournament themed 
Usalama ni jukumu la pamoja, a sporting event sponsored by the International Organization for Migration. The tournament was jointly organized by the International Organization for Migration, the Border Management Secretariat, and the National Counterterrorism Center. The Wajia team advanced through the tournament, defeating their opponents, but ultimately lost in the final to the Medina team in a penalty shootout. Thank you for watching. We look forward to your feedback via our official social media handles and your viewership next Friday for the KDF Friday Bulletin. I am Sergeant Patience Asambu. Goodbye.